So what might a reflection about the y-axis look like? Let's look at one of our basic functions, f of x equals the square root of x. And let's see how that looks reflected about the y-axis, where I'd have a function g of x. Notice that then it is a reflection if the negative is in, inside the function. So let's graph those out and get a sense of what might be happening with this. My g of x function, or my f of x function, is a basic square root function. Its domain is all positive numbers because I cannot take the square root of a negative number in the context of all real numbers. So notice that my graph is limited to the domain of all positive numbers. It does not come to the other side of the y-axis. g of x, it's a reflection about the y-axis. So every point that I have on my f of x function is reflected about the other side. So I know I had the point 0, 0. There's a point 1 and 1. So I'm going to have the point negative 1 and 1 and every other point will be reflected as well about the y-axis. So that's how you can look at reflections of both the x-axis and the y-axis, is understand where that negative is coming from. Is the negative within the function, as it is here in my y-axis comparison, or is my negative outside of the function, which happens in a reflection about the x-axis?